Hello, I'm going to uh, demonstrate how to use a uh, sample I posted to the Light Blue Bean forums for serial communication. I've copied the code and I can now paste it here into an empty message, or an empty uh, script, uh, sketch. Uh, it gives some instructions at the top, but I'm just going to go over it here now. I've got my bean just sort of hanging here from a twist die, just so you can see it. Because some of the commands that I'm going to be sending involve the LED. Now the first thing I want to do is uh, compile it and get connected up to the bean and send it the program. Alright, well that's doing that. I can explain a little bit about what this program does. It takes a number of commands uh, hello, temperature, accelerometer, LED, and blink and will either report back something across the serial bus or let you control the uh, LED visibly. And there's instructions here on how to do what I'm going to show you. Uh, hopefully just as good. But it's more fun seeing an interactive example, so I thought I'd do that too. So, it's just finished uploading. It's a fairly long sketch. First thing you want to do is go into your bean and select Use for Virtual Serial. And it has a uh, the, the name of the serial port here, which is Light Blue Bean. I want you, you want you to select that, and it'll say Virtual Serial here next to it. Go back to the Arduino ID, and under Tools, make sure Serial Port is also set to this Light Blue Bean serial port name, and it's checked over here. It currently is, so we're good. And then select Serial Monitor from the Tools menu. You are now connected. It's running the script. It's running the uh, sketch. We've got our serial port virtualized and a window to it opened. I can now type something in here, hit enter, and as you see it comes back test in uh, angle brackets to let you know that that is coming from the bean. It will echo back anything you type that isn't a command. If it is a command, like hello, in this case it sends back world. So it lets you know it's listening and paying attention to what you're typing. So let's do some of the other commands real quick. Temp. T-E-M-P gives you the temperature, which is currently 27 degrees Celsius here on my monitor. Accelerometer, ACC, and it shows the X, Y, and Z accelerometer readings. Let me get a little bit more fun. Let's do LED, 255, 255, 255, which should be white, but it comes out rather red because my battery's getting low. If you try and tell it to uh, do white and it looks red, your battery's getting low. It's a good indicator. The blue and green give out first. So let's look at just the blue and green, or let's look at green. Now I'll do 0 and 255. I'm going to leave off the third number. Any number you leave off is 0. So we got green. Now we'll do 0, 0, and 255 to get blue. If we do LED by itself, all the numbers default to 0 and it turns off. So let's get back to green, and now let's type blink. Blink will take whatever color it currently is, and I don't think it heard me. Uh, but it'll take whatever color it is and start blinking it. Let's type that in again, and I'll explain what happened in a moment. There we go, it says blink on, and now it's blinking. And you can change the color mid-blink. Let's go red, and it didn't hear me, because it didn't echo back. There we go. Now it's blinking red. And just type blink again to turn it off. Now what's happening when it wasn't hearing me? Well, this is all going over the uh, radio frequencies that Bluetooth Low Energy uses. And there's interference. And it will knock out some of the packets you're sending over the air. And they'll never arrive. And same thing coming back should program to expect this and if you really need it to be very very reliable you're going to need to add your own handshaking and uh, and other things to guarantee that a message sent send the message that did you did you get it and if it responds back yes and you know it's there now uh, I can tell that it wasn't getting it because every command I send should send me back a string in response. And uh, those those commands that I sent that didn't do anything also didn't get me a response, so I know it didn't receive it. So that's, you know, a, a simple way of making it more reliable. 
Just expect a response within a given time. If you don't get it, send again. And that is how to set up the serial. You should be able to use this same virtual serial port in any other program that accepts and talks to serial ports. I'm going to be trying that very soon myself. And then you can have other software talking to the bean. I think I'm going to use a uh, live code stack. Live code's an open source uh, language. A distant relative of HyperCard on the Mac. Uh, very fast and easy to throw something together. And uh, that should make a very good way to uh, interface with the bean over serial port. Hope this helps you out. Thanks a lot.